Jenkins. Okay, so this is your Jenkins dashboard. This is the welcome page of your Jenkins. Okay, so yeah, now we are going to do lot many things here. And Jenkins is very easy and very simple. Okay, but you need to understand what you are doing. That's all. It's from the UI. Everything we do from the UI. So you need to understand what each option is. It's very easy to learn. I'll also tell you how you can make Jenkins, how you can understand Jenkins very easily. Okay, first let's go with the very basic concept of job. What is a job? Uh, like till now in the day one of our class, we have got an overview, high level picture of uh, pipeline, right? In the pipeline, I told you, you'll have a, uh, a continuous build job, continuous test job, deployment job and so on. What is a job in Jenkins? So let us understand first the very basic concept of job. What is a job? Why do you need a job? Where it is executed? First, let us understand this. See, job is nothing but a task in Jenkins. Okay, a task in Jenkins is called as a job. This task may be compile task, test task, whatever it is. But remember, these tasks, uh, let's say you talk about test tasks. A test job in Jenkins doesn't mean that Jenkins is testing. Rather, Jenkins will use some test automation tool at the back end to do the task. But everything is handling via Jenkins. Jenkins works like an orchestrator. Let me give an overview once again. See, this is going to be your pipeline. Let's say compile job, test job, deploy job and so on. Okay, let's say. This is a compile job. Pull the code and compile it. Then package the job. Then test the code. Then uh, deploy the application. So you have different jobs. All these are going to be different jobs in Jenkins. So we'll be compiling via Jenkins, package via Jenkins, test via Jenkins and deploy via Jenkins means through Jenkins. But how is it possible? Yes, here Jenkins will use some build automation tool like Maven. Okay, Jenkins will use some test automation tool, means it will use some test automation scripts written by testers to execute some test cases. Okay, similarly deploy and so on. But what is this job? How a job can be created? Let's see. See, Jenkins is managing all these jobs, means it works like an orchestrator. Jenkins is like an orchestrator. Okay, means it doesn't do anything, but it will help us manage all this stuff. Jenkins will not compile, it will not package, it will not test or it will not deploy or it will not do anything. Rather, it will manage all these jobs to perform the actual task. Okay, so that's what Jenkins can do. So Jenkins is like a manager or orchestrator, whatever you call it. So we, we go to that part of building a pipeline, but before going to that uh, steps of creating a pipeline, let's first go from the basics. Let's understand what is a job. The job may be a compile job or a package or whatever it is. What is a job? Let's see. See, job is nothing but item in Jenkins. It may be called as an item or a job. See here, you create a job, you create an item or you may also call it as a C item or you may call it as a project. These words are used interchangeably in Jenkins. You may call it as a job or an item or a project. See, you may click here, you go to the page, enter an item or else you click from here, again the same. Okay, so all these are same. Now create some job, let's say job one, some sample job for our understanding. Again, there are different types of jobs like freestyle job, pipeline job, multi-config job and so on. We'll talk about all of them for now, first choose the freestyle job. Okay, so that you will understand what actually a job is. Freestyle job is flexible enough. You can create any kind of job here. So, so there were so many sections in a job. If you see general section, source code management section, build section, build environment section, build uh, again, build steps, possible actions. Okay, you may use any of them. Each has got its own purpose. Uh, for now, first we'll talk about build section. Go to build section, under build section, you will see add build step. Choose a build step called execute shell. Okay, here I would like to execute a command called, I'm just writing a simple command, echo means print my first Jenkins 
job. That's all. Let's say that's all is my first uh, job. My job is nothing but this job one will execute a simple shell command. That's all. Okay, nothing else. So save it. Right? Yeah, again, once you save it, you see so many options. Configure means edit the job or delete the job or build now. Build now means run the job or execute the job. Okay, I just want to run it. I'm clicking on build now. See, build number one happened at July 11, 2022, 2.49 a.m. My EC2 instance server time. Okay. So if you want to build now again, there will be something like build to again the system time. You can have a build history. If you want to see the output, click on this console output. You can see the output here. Started by user admin because I have logged as an admin user and workspace we'll discuss later. Just come here. It has printed the output and it says the job is successful. Right? So now can you tell me, uh, I have few questions for you here. First question is, where is this job executed? Means let's say on which server. On which server is this job executing? That's the first step. And then which program or which tool or which software is executing this command? Anyone please? Because. So it's on our EC2 instance, right? Yes, on our EC2 instance it's running. Okay, then. Yes. Jenkins is the one. So which program is running this command? Is Jenkins running the shell command? It's a shell command. It's a shell script. Is Jenkins executing it? Like I told you some time back, Jenkins will not do anything. It cannot test. It cannot compile. It cannot deploy. It cannot also run the shell script. It cannot do anything through Jenkins. I'm running the shell script. That's all. But actual shell script will be executed by shell program on the server bash program on my server means if i just go here and run some echo command who is running this oh sorry it is stuck up okay so if i run some shell command here how is that like who executes the shell command linux commands bash program the same is the case here bash program on the server is executing it then why are you writing it you may write from the shell come uh, from your command line if i write from the command line it's only one time use every time i should keep on writing but if i write here i could run this any number of times isn't it imagine that's a compiled uh, job means the job will compile there is some script for compiling Instead of you writing again and again, through Jenkins you will run it. Is it making sense? These basic concepts everyone should be clear with. Which server it is running? Which program is used at the back end to, you, to run this? Okay, these steps, these, this concept should be clear so that you can create any type of job very easily. <clears throat> right? Understood everyone? So this is how, this is what happens. If you just want to edit the job, go to configure. <clears throat> and here, if you just go, see, like you see execute shell in the build step, you can see so many things, ant commands, gradle commands, maven commands. Why are not, not uh, seeing different uh, other commands? Yes, let's say I want to run Python script. You can also see Python option here once you install the plugin. Because we install default plugins like can, gradle, shell and all, we are seeing it. Okay, if you want to run Python script on your server, you want to put here some Python program. Yes, you install Python plugin. How to install that Python plugin? How do you see the options? Those also will cover. But this is the basic concept. Via Jenkins, we are executing uh, any, any program or any commands, but actual a uh, job is executed by the respective tool or the respective program. Everyone clear with this? 
any questions